The world remembers April 26, 1986. It was a day that would forever change the course of history, a day that would be etched into the collective memory of humanity. The events that unfolded on this day would have far-reaching consequences not just for the people directly affected, but for the entire world. It was the day the unimaginable occurred, a catastrophic event that no one could have predicted, yet one that would leave an indelible mark on the world. The explosion at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant was a stark reminder of the potential dangers of nuclear energy. The Chernobyl nuclear power plant near the city of Pripyat in Soviet Ukraine became a synonym for disaster. This once thriving area, home to thousands of people, was transformed into a ghost town almost overnight. The name Chernobyl would become synonymous with fear and devastation. An explosion ripped through reactor number four, tearing a hole in the illusion of technological infallibility. The blast was so powerful that it blew the roof off the reactor building, releasing a deadly cloud of radioactive material into the atmosphere. The immediate aftermath was chaos, as emergency responders struggled to contain the disaster. This wasn't just another industrial accident, Chernobyl was different. The scale of the disaster was unprecedented, and the consequences were far-reaching. The explosion and subsequent fire released large quantities of radioactive particles into the air, which spread across much of Europe. It was a nuclear disaster, the world's worst at that time. The impact was felt not just in the immediate vicinity but across the globe. The world watched in horror as the extent of the disaster became clear. The Chernobyl disaster was a wake-up call for the entire world, highlighting the potential dangers of nuclear energy. It released a cloud of radioactive material into the atmosphere. This invisible threat spread far and wide, carried by the wind. The radioactive particles contaminated the land, water, and air, posing a serious health risk to anyone exposed to them. This cloud spread across Europe and beyond, carrying with it fear, uncertainty, and a silent, invisible threat. The residents of Pripyat were evacuated, leaving behind their homes and belongings. The once bustling city became a ghost town, a stark reminder of the disaster that had occurred. Chernobyl became a stark reminder of the immense power of nuclear energy and the devastating consequences of its misuse. The disaster sparked a global debate about the safety of nuclear power, leading to changes in policies and regulations. People around the world began to question the wisdom of relying on nuclear energy. The disaster forced the world to confront uncomfortable truths about nuclear safety, human error, and the cost of progress. It highlighted the need for stringent safety measures and the importance of being prepared for the worst-case scenario. The lessons learned from Chernobyl continue to shape the way we approach nuclear energy today. The legacy of Chernobyl is complex and multifaceted. It is a story of loss and suffering but also of resilience and recovery. The people affected by the disaster have shown incredible strength and determination in the face of adversity. It's a story of tragedy, heroism, scientific inquiry, and environmental change. The disaster prompted extensive research into the effects of radiation on human health and the environment. Scientists continue to study the long-term impact of the disaster, seeking to understand and mitigate its effects. It is a story that continues to unfold even today, reminding us of the enduring impact of that fateful April night. The Chernobyl disaster serves as a powerful reminder of the need for vigilance and caution in our pursuit of technological advancement. It is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the importance of learning from our past mistakes. To understand Chernobyl, one must understand the context in which it occurred. The disaster was not just an isolated incident, but a product of a larger system. The Soviet Union of the 1980s was a nation driven by ambition. It was a time of intense industrialization and technological advancement. The goal was simple, to become an industrial and technological superpower. Factories were buzzing with activity, and engineers were constantly pushing the boundaries of what was possible. Nuclear energy was seen as the key to achieving this dream. It was believed to be the solution to the Soviet Union's energy needs and a symbol of its scientific prowess. Nuclear power plants, like the one at Chernobyl, were symbols of progress. They represented the future, a future where energy was abundant and cheap. They promised cheap, abundant electricity to fuel the Soviet economy. This electricity was meant to power homes, factories, and the very machinery of the state. However, this pursuit of progress came at a cost. The infrastructure, though impressive, was often built hastily and without proper safety measures. 
safety concerns were often sidelined in favor of speed and production. Workers were frequently put in dangerous conditions, and construction projects were rushed to meet ambitious deadlines. A culture of secrecy permeated the Soviet system. Information was tightly controlled, and the public was often kept in the dark about potential dangers. Mistakes were hidden, and problems were rarely discussed openly. This lack of transparency meant that issues were not addressed promptly, allowing them to escalate. This culture of silence proved to be fertile ground for disaster. Scientists and workers, aware of the risks, were often unable to voice their concerns. It allowed a dangerous combination of design flaws, human error, and negligence to fester, ultimately leading to the catastrophe at Chernobyl. The explosion was a tragic culmination of systemic failures, a stark reminder of the dark side of the Soviet energy dream. The events leading to the Chernobyl disaster began with a seemingly routine safety test. The test was intended to simulate a power outage. The goal was to see how long the reactor's cooling system could operate on backup power. However, the test was flawed from the start. It was conducted during a period of low reactor power, making the reactor unstable. Additionally, key safety systems were disabled, a dangerous shortcut taken in the name of expediency. As the test commenced, a series of operational errors compounded the already precarious situation. Operators, under pressure to complete the test, violated several safety protocols. This disregard for established procedures proved fatal. At 1.23 and 45 seconds a.m. on April 26, 1986, the unthinkable happened. The chain of errors and design flaws culminated in a catastrophic power surge within reactor number 4. A sudden and uncontrolled increase in heat caused a steam explosion. This initial explosion blew the heavy reactor lid off, exposing the reactor core to the open air. The exposed core then reacted with the atmosphere, creating a second more powerful explosion. This second blast ripped through the reactor building spewing radioactive debris high into the night sky. The earth trembled. The night sky above Pripyat was illuminated by an eerie, otherworldly glow. It was a glow that signaled the beginning of a nightmare. Section 5. Bravery in the Face of the Invisible. The First Responders. In the immediate aftermath of the explosions, confusion reigned. Many were unaware of the true nature of the disaster. They believed it was just a fire. A common industrial accident, firefighters from Pripyat were the first on the scene. They rushed towards the inferno, unaware of the invisible danger they faced. They fought the blaze with courage and determination, their bodies absorbing lethal doses of radiation with every passing minute. These brave men and women became unsung heroes, sacrificing their health and, in many cases, their lives to contain the disaster. Their selfless actions prevented an even greater catastrophe by stopping the fire from spreading to other reactors. Section 6. The silent evacuation, leaving behind a life. As the true scale of the disaster became apparent, the Soviet authorities made a decision. The radiation levels were rising rapidly, and the situation was spiraling out of control. They ordered the evacuation of Pripyat, the city closest to the Chernobyl plant. This decision was not taken lightly, as it meant uprooting an entire community. Over 50,000 people were told to pack a single bag, leaving behind their homes, their possessions, and their lives as they knew them. Imagine the heartbreak of leaving behind cherished memories, family heirlooms, and the comfort of your own home. The evacuation began 36 hours after the explosion. The urgency was palpable, Yet the residents were kept in the dark about the true danger they were facing. It was a silent exodus, shrouded in secrecy and fear. The streets, once filled with the sounds of daily life, were now eerily quiet. Residents were initially told they would return in a few days, a promise they would soon realize was a cruel lie. The reality was far grimmer, as the radiation made their return impossible. The city of Pripyat became a ghost town, frozen in time. The once vibrant community, was now a haunting reminder of the disaster. It stands today as a chilling monument to the human cost of Chernobyl. The ruins of Pripyat serve as a stark warning of the devastating impact of nuclear disasters, a place where time stands still and memories linger in the abandoned streets and empty buildings. Section 7. 
The Invisible Killer. Radiation's deadly grip. The Invisible Killer lurked in the air, water, and soil. Radiation, released by the explosion, spread far and wide. It contaminated everything it touched, leaving a legacy of fear and uncertainty. The immediate health impacts of the disaster were devastating. Firefighters and plant workers, the first responders, suffered acute radiation sickness. Many succumbed to their injuries within days or weeks, but the long-term effects of radiation exposure were even more insidious. Thousands developed thyroid cancer, a disease linked to radiation exposure. The disaster also cast a long shadow over the health of future generations, with increased rates of birth defects reported in the affected areas. Section 8. A Concrete Tombstone, Containing the Uncontainable The days and weeks following the explosion were a race against time. The exposed reactor core continued to emit deadly radiation into the atmosphere. A massive effort was launched to contain the disaster. Helicopters dropped tons of sand, lead, and boron onto the burning reactor in an attempt to smother the fire and absorb radiation. This operation, carried out by volunteers known as liquidators, was fraught with danger. To contain the remnants of the destroyed reactor, a massive concrete structure known as the sarcophagus was hastily constructed. This concrete tomb, while flawed, served its purpose, encasing the most radioactive debris and preventing further contamination. 